I had a question from a viewer recently. He is working in Premiere Pro and he had various text in his video and he wondered how he could go through and change his text all in one shot in his Premiere Pro timeline. Uh, I wanted to show you that. This is a trick that some people don't know about, uh, especially in the newer version of Premiere Pro. So we have uh, this text here. We're calling it a big rock. This is just some footage from little coast stuff. Uh, I shot all this on a uh, DJI action cam. Here is, uh, we're going to call this another big rock. This is actually a Juddy, Eddie, whatever you call it, and you walk up on the sand dune and come over here. It's pretty cool. And then uh, we have a nice ocean. We'll stick that over there so we can see it. Uh, over here we have this beautiful butterfly. Very, very nice butterfly. It was really nice. And then over here, um, hey, look, we got top of big rock, and we'll just stick that right there. Now I could certainly go through and say, okay, here is my text for a big rock, and I don't like the Times New Roman. So let's set that to, say, a font I use called Montserrat. Uh, let's use semi bold. Okay, that works. And then let's say I want to, uh, let's make it obnoxiously yellow, just so we can see what's going on. Um, yeah, I want it really yellow. Let's do that kapow. You got that yellow and let's say uh, let's add a little bit of a drop shadow there and let's add a bit of a all I've done here is I've added an outline. So then we have this and we are like okay we're going to want to use that. I want to use this type of text. Now option one is I go to each of these text elements and uh, Unfortunately, as he was talking about, I'd have to do again, go through and change the font, go through and change the color, uh, add the drop shadow, add the uh, outline, um, and that's a real pain. I only have one, two, three, four, five of these. Imagine if you've had, I've had things where I have, you know, hundreds of these, and I don't like this font. So that's one way to do it, is to go through each one of these and try and set them to the values of I just set on here. Here's another option. You go through and you create a master style. Now a master style says all these parameters here that I have set, I want to create a master text style that I can use later. So let's call this just for now, let's call it yellow text. All right, so now we've created our yellow text master style. Now again, I can go through each one of these and I can click this, select the text, and then I can go down here and drop down my master text style and you'll see I have this yellow text here. So I could do that for each one of these. I could click, go here, go here, and set each of these. If I have hundreds of these and I want them all the same, it's also a pain. I want you to look at something that happened up here. I am going to undo what I just did for this text style. Okay. Now I'm going to recreate this again. Now when I create this master text style, we're going to call it uh, yellow text again or text. Let's call it yellow text just for fun. Instead of watching what happens over here, I want you to watch up here, over here on the uh, project and where all the footage and stuff and files go here when I click OK. Keep your eyeballs over here. Click OK. Now I have this master text style, but look over here. It created this element. Well, what is this thing? This, it creates every time you create a master text style. For instance, you'll see the yellow text sitting here, and let's say I delete that. Delete. Well, the master text style is now gone. It's part of your project. Let's undo that. But here's the thing about this. We have a yellow text, and we have all these text. If I select all the text I want to change, 
and I drag our master textile to those, kapow. Change that one, it changed that one, it changed that one, it changed that one, and it changed that one. So using this master textile method on these, um, if you have tons of these and you're like, oh, I need to change my font, my style, my whatever, all the ones I have are bad or somebody wants something different, that is the way you do it. Create a master text, change one of these, create a master text style, then go select everything in the timeline you want to change, all multiply selected, drag it to one of those, and it updates them all. Now, if you've decided you want yellow text here, but you want this one right justified, but you want this one with a different thing, um, you're going to have to create different text styles or do them by hand. But for a blanket one-shot change, all the text in my timeline uh, to these things, this is the easiest and fastest way to do it. I hope that helps. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.